I'm gonna do a piling repair. That's a creosote piling there. It didn't last as long as my treated pilings. I put it in about uh, 30 years ago. I'm going to uh, cut it off below the water. I'm gonna core down through the center of it with a core bit. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna insert a new piling on the top of it that has a uh, bolt uh, cored through the center of it. And then I'll sheathe the whole thing in PVC and cement it up. There's a couple of pylons that I have ready to go. Have the uh, bolts. Uh, the bolts are in the uh, pylon 14 inches. It's a very uh, tight fit. I had to screw the bolts into the pylons and I coated the threads with Gorilla Glue so that would really seal it off. The nuts, of course, will come off. They're just used to uh, screw the bolts in the pylons. Well, I've been uh, prepping up pylon there for repair. I've got it cut off and I've got it bored out uh, roughly 14 inches. Those bolts that I'm using are inch and a quarter uh, Teflon coated bolts and uh, they're 28 inches long so I sank it 14 inches into the repair piling and then I drilled down into the uh, original piling for 14 inches. <clears throat> There's the uh, other one that I did a repair job on. It's pretty well cured out now. So I'll get this one, I'll set the uh, bolt in there, and then I'll jump in the water, clean all the barnacles off the outside, and then come in with my uh, overshot pipe, put it over the whole thing, drive it down the mud as far as I can, and then uh, cement the annulus up with cement, let it cure out. Generally these pilings don't uh, deteriorate below the mud line, it's just in a water column where you have your deterioration. Well, there's the uh, piling uh, screwed on there. Uh, the on my overshot pipes, I take a little sawzall and I try to cut them ellipt elliptically and sharpen the edges up a little bit so uh, they'll go into the mud a little bit better. And I got the overshot on, driven down the mud as far as I can get it, and then I uh, cut it off even with the other ones. It's about 17 inches above the waterline right now. We're high tides. So uh, next step would be to cement up the annular space. I, uh... Well I got a uh, two on the uh, outside there. The two white ones are the repair jobs. They're finished and the other two are pilings in good shape <clears throat> but I just went ahead and sleeved them into PVC then filled the annulus with cement. some more of the piling work the pilings on the boathouse i had to split the pvc longitudinally then wrap it around drive it down in the mud and then fill it up with cement and uh